Now to a family demanding answers in the mysterious death of a young man found unresponsive in the back of a cab after a night out in the city. All right, tonight a vigil was held to call attention to the case that seems to have gone cold more than a month after he died. Teresa Priolo in Hell's Kitchen tonight with the story. Teresa. Yes, yeah, Stephen, Lori, candles are being lit here for Julio Ramirez outside of the Ritz bar. What exactly happened to Julio as he was leaving this bar? Was he targeted or is his death just an unfortunate accident? New Yorkers came together tonight to tell his story and to remember his name. Julio was always just like the life of the party and it just, it's just not fair. It's been 40 days since Julio Ramirez was found unconscious in a New York City cab. 40 days and still few answers. It's why family, friends and members of the city's LGBTQ community are coming together to ensure his name is not forgotten. Say his name! Julio Ramirez! Say his name! Julio Ramirez! Ramirez was last seen the morning of April 21st, leaving the Ritz Bar and Lounge in Hell's Kitchen. According to friends, he was alone with three men. He stopped sharing his location at 3.45 a.m. and was found unresponsive just after 4 a.m. Following his death, loved ones noticed more than $20,000 was transferred from his bank account. Police are not giving any indication of foul play, but the investigation continues. This happened back in April, um, and I just find that it's unfortunate that not many people do know about this, this travesty, the, the, the terrible event that happened so quickly and just like doesn't seem to be being investigated or like even questioned. With all the violence that we see in New York City and everywhere, it's not a safe time to be a queer person of color. It's just not a safe time in general, but it just hits a lot harder to home when it's someone you know. 25-year-old Ramirez was a social worker who lived in Brooklyn. He frequented Hell's Kitchen, but never felt unsafe. Safety within the LGBTQ community, especially during Pride Month, is a topic of great concern. Be able to go home and see his family and his friends again just really touched me. Um, and it, it's important, I think, to raise awareness, to be safe, and always check your surroundings. We need to make sure everyone's held accountable and the establishments have the resources to make sure everyone's safe and they come home at night. Now, we reached out to the NYPD to see where the case stands right now. They tell us there are no updates, Stephen Laurie, but the case does remain open. That's the latest from outside of Hell's Kitchen tonight. Back to both of you in the studio. That is baffling for sure. All right, thanks, Teresa.